Greetings, I'm Cray Snelly, and welcome to Sukoden. Or Suikoden! I'm not really sure which way to say it. I'm tempted to believe it's Suikoden, because that makes me feel like a Japanese game show host. And the few places I saw that talked about it said it was Suikoden. So, starting a new. Oh, a singer using the streaming software. This is also. One of the first games I'm going to stream in its entirety as well. I'm recording with OBS as well as streaming with it. But let's start a new game. All I know is that it has a lot of... What? How is my memory card full? I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna have to see once I get to an area whether I can... Oh. Okay, you're not gonna let me put the full name. So Nally it is. Works for me anyway. Yep. I get tired of people calling me crazed instead of Nally anyway. Nifty. Is that my loading screen, or is that just now? It's my loading screen. I think it's also cool that this one isn't blocky polygons, that it's sprite-based. Oh! This isn't like Legend of Dragoon, where I jump immediately into a cutscene. Who are you? Teo! What's the matter, Nelly? Are you nervous? Don't worry, the audience will be finished quickly. Just be the way you always are. The Emperor is stern, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Alright, I can handle that. Oh! Master Teo! Master Nelly! The Emperor will receive you now. Please come this way. Teo McDull, General of the Imperial Army, and his son, Nally McDull. Oh, he's my dad! Well, he's kind of a dick. Here for an audience with the Emperor. Emperor Barbarossa. Welcome, Teo. How are things? Much as they were when we fought together in the War of Succession, Your Highness. Impressive words! Do you not agree, Windy? Windy? That's your name? Indeed, they are the words of a great general. Teo, I'm sure you were aware of the troubling activity in the North. Would you be willing to travel there to protect the border? Our disputes with the United City States of Jowstone are com complicated, but with General McDowell in charge, we can rest assured. My beloved sword, Proc, has brought me luck on countless occasions. I would like you to have it. Take it with you. Thank you, Your Highness. I, Teo, swear not to disappoint you. You have my blessings. Good luck, Teo. So you're Teo's boy, Nally. Quite an impressive little countenance. Listen, Nally, would you be willing to give the Empire a helping hand while your father is protecting the northern border? This was definitely not designed to be read out loud. I don't want to. I want to say it. I don't want to. Ha ha! Like father, like son. Listen, Nally. Someday you'll follow the path of... Ah, oh, I didn't read that! Plenty of time for freedom later. Thank you for your kind words, Your Highness. Commander Craze of the Imperial Guard will be Master Nally's superior. So either way, I would have gotten... a commander. What an attractive young man you are. Good luck to you, Nally. We had better be going, Your Highness. I'm relying on you, Teo. 
And Nally, I hope your efforts will surpass your father's. <laughs> I hope he totally makes you look like an ass, Teo. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Bullshit. The audience with the Emperor is over. Please depart. Who are you? Why, Master Nally, was Lady Windy at the audience too? I've heard that she bears a close resemblance to Lady Claudia. He still mourns her passing. Okay, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Anything in these? No? I know better than to just leave. That's never a good idea. Kasim Hazil. Ah, Teo! It looks like you've brought a fine son into the world. I envy you. You're embarrassing me, Kasim. So, he's a kiss-ass. Jeez, I can go all over the place, can't I? This is Crazy's room. You'll be reporting to him starting tomorrow. Go and introduce yourself. No. I choose to... Did you pay your respects to Craze? Did you pay your respects to Craze? No. Haha! <laughs> Just look at those shiny boots. I've dreamed of joining the Imperial Guard since I was a little kid. Shining armor. What? A hundred bits! Ooh! So there is a point to checking things. Ah, oh, that one didn't have money. I'm assuming bits are money. Say, you're General Teo's son. How you've grown. Hey, kid! Where did you come from? The Emperor's upstairs, and Commander Crazer's room is down next door. <laughs> so you're Teo's boy. What's your name? Nally? I couldn't care less if you're the son of a great general. You'll get no special treatment here. Understood? Now go on home. Work begins tomorrow. Report here first thing in the morning. So you're a dick, is what you're saying. Are you still here? I told you to go home, didn't I? <laughs> Work begins tomorrow. Don't be late, understand? Yeah, he's a dick. Did you introduce yourself? I must admit, I'm quite surprised. Damn it, I need to read that. Grumio must be worried stick. Note to self. Lightly tap X button. Maybe that was the only way I could go. Gregminster. Welcome home, young master. H how did it go? Was everything okay? I can't tell if you're a guy or a girl. Were you nervous in front of the Emperor? Nah, I was kind of a dick to the Emperor, actually. I was so worried, but I guess everything went fine. You shouldn't worry so much, Grimio. Oh, Master Teo. I didn't notice you at all. Didn't notice me? Good grief. The only one you seem to care about is Nally. Sorry, Master Teo. By the way, young master, Ted is here to congratulate you. Oh my god! The stew! The stew! Probably a girl. But I'm going by the facial expression and the fact that she has enormous size. But did, leave me alone! I heard the news, Nally. You met the Emperor, didn't you? Tell me all about it, please. Let's go up to your room, okay? Tell me about all about the Emperor right now! Ted joins the entourage. So I have a party already. Unfortunately, it's just a party to go to my room. I choose not to. I choose to go elsewhere. Oh. I guess I sleep literally by just doing that. 
Young master, how many times do I have to tell you? Please knock before entering the room of a lady. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those games, isn't it? Where I'm not sure if they're guys or girls until they give me a pronoun. Oh well, you can be forgiven if it's my room, I suppose. So, how was your audience with the Emperor? Were you nervous? Yeah? You must be tired after such a long day. Why don't you go to your room and rest? No, that's what you want me to do. <laughs> Scare him, leave him alone. How can I resist being a dick? Ah! What the- it, oh. oh, it's you, young master. Home already? I was waiting for supper and fell asleep. By the way, how was your audience with the Emperor? Nanya! Martial Arts Handbook, Talk With Your Fist, Pawn's Diary. Y young Master, you shouldn't look at my books without permission. Note to self, looked at Pawn's books without permission. Anything here? Is there a diary here? Cleo's Diary. Young Master, you shouldn't be g looking at a woman's belongings. My hands are full right now. This is the most important step when you're making a stew. Okay, so this one's a guy. Pull his ears, tickle him, leave him alone. Pull his ears. Young master, that hurts! Please stop! Can I do other things? Tickle him. What? Stop! Okay, dinner will be ready soon. Please rest in your room until I call. Okay, so everybody and their mother wants me to go to the... No! Oh, I can wander around! It's so beautiful here. Greg Minster was virtually destroyed during the Seven Year War of Succession. Yet now, it's so beautiful, all thanks to the Emperor. Bless him! Bless him! He likes the Emperor. I'm from a village to the east called Rockland. I seem to have lost my way. Could you please tell... What? What is it? It's ugly! I mean, unique house. Thank you very much. I just decide to escape. <laughs> I run away to join the circus. It gives me a lot of freedom to move. Come in, come in! Say if it isn't Master Teo's boy! What's up? If you want to rest, you should go home. You're a bit young to be in here, aren't you? Oh, I can save. Okay. Uh-oh. Memory card is full. Delete data. I don't like this. Huh. How do I pause? That's how I pause. Or how I at least look at my menu. Huh. Had to go back and do all that again. I had forgotten to make sure I had enough room on my memory card. So I had to do that and come back. I'm assuming this is just... Oh, you've come at the perfect time! You can help us decide! Decide what? Who do you think is the most powerful of the six, I mean five, great Imperial Generals? Why the hell would you ask a random kid that? Hello, guy in... You there, what are you doing around here? This is the home of the imp Yep, you're a dick. An ignorant dick. What's in this one? Ever since she heard about General Tyre's northern assignment, Lady Sonia has not looked well. Son Sonia Shulan. Nally, after tomorrow, you won't be able to see your father for a while. 
Better spend time with them while you can. Don't be a fool, Sonya. Nally, you're not taking this seriously either, are you? Nally? I must speak with Sonya. You go on home first. Is that my mom? No. It can't be my mom, because she would have the same last name. Well, maybe. I don't know how this... Sonya's Diary. I heard that General Taya is heading north. Since she he is a soldier, it is only natural, but still my heart is bleeding. I hope he returns unharmed. Nope, those are not the words of a wife. But yay for rooting through people's personal belongings. And that's a crystal ball. Welcome. May I help you? Attach. Whose crystal do you want attached? Mm, I better come back to this. You do something important, but I don't know what it is. You are a shop. I shouldn't buy things when I don't even know how to play the game yet. A lot of shops. I miss those days seven years ago. The Emperor was a wonderful person back then, but now? Oh, so we do have some strife. The Emperor isn't just a wonderful, amazing person. Huh? Oh! Whoops. What is Master Milich up to? If he doesn't hurry, he'll miss his audience with the Emperor. Master Milich, it's time to go! Sounds like Mr. Master Milich needs to buy a watch. <laughs> what the hell, man? Milich Oppenheimer. Hmm, this outfit is nice, of course, but the colors on this one match better. Really? These are all cabinets? Young man, which do you like? Say, aren't you Tao's boy? Of course, you're Nally. I was called by the Emperor. And of course, I must show him my exquisite taste in clothes. <laughs> Holy crap! Ah! All of them are... <laughs> Lame tuxedo. Ham red cape. Are they different each time? Ham red cape. Big feathered hat. <laughs> His entire house is one giant wardrobe. It's amazing, but I think we need to stop wasting time and actually go and rest. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had to redo it this part. I had to do all over again. Okay. Please let me join your entourage. I owe so much to Master Teo, who adopted me when I was an orphan, and I run and return the favor, okay? Of course. Eh, come on board, man! Great! I knew you were a good friend. Now, for more important matters, what kind of man was the Emperor? And tell me about Wendy. Duh! Come on, tell everything. And I did. The story of my life from conception to birth. I see. I am sure I would like to see Wendy in person. Hey, Nally. I really don't know how to tell you this, but, um, I love you. Say, Nally, there's something I want to tell you. Can you keep a secret? Can you promise not to tell anyone what I'm about to tell you? Young Master, Ted, supper is ready. Hey, it's time to eat. Let's go, Nally. We can talk some other time. Of course! No. <laughs> Screw having food. Are the glasses filled? Attention, everybody. Tomorrow morning, I must travel north. Nelly will be responsible for the household in my absence. I'd like you all to give him full support. Gremio. Yes, sir? 
You've taken care of Nally since he was a baby. Thanks to your efforts, he's grown into a fine youth. I'm grateful to you. But, sir, I... This is my job. A and besides, serving young master is a pleasure for me, too. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you continue to watch over him. Cleo, Pon, I'm counting on you two as well to help and protect. Yes, Master Teo? Of course, sir. Leave it to us. Why do I sound constipated all the time? I'm keeping this voice, though. And Ted, I hope you'll always be a good friend in Alley. I do. I'd do so even if you said otherwise, sir. Right, Nally? <laughs> Enough talk. Let's eat before the food gets cold. Let's raise our glasses. Your orders are contradictory, sir. To my son. To the Empire. Okay. Looks like I won't be seeing your face for a while, Nelly. Shall I wake him up? No. No, let him sleep. It's not as if we'll never meet again. <laughs> Which means we'll never meet again. Gremio, take good care of him, won't you? I will, Master Tail. But I didn't bother to shut my eyes. Oh. Oh. Did I wake you up? Good morning. Listen, young master. Master Teo departed while you were sleeping. You're such a late sleeper. Today you start working as a member of the Imperial Forces. We must prepare to visit Commander Craze. Gremio joins the entourage. Okay, can I get other people to join my entourage? I like that it's called an entourage, not a party. So the next time we have a day off... Hey, here he comes. You're late, young master. It's your first day on the job. I'm so excited. Whether it's battling bandits on Mount Saifu or monsters at Lake Tauron, Pons here is your man. Calm down, will you? All you ever think about is fighting. Our job is to protect the young master. I know, I know. Now let's be on our way to the palace. Pon joins the entourage. Cleo joins the entourage. Entourage makes it sound so much better. Hey, wait for me, Nally. How can you leave me behind? You know, you'll be lonely without me, right, Nally? Yeah, I'll be... Ted joins the entourage. Huh. I suddenly have a party of six to start. I know this game has like 115 different characters. Uh, where's the save point? It was in the bed, right? It's at the end. Yeah, let's go ahead. Overwrite. I really love the music in this game so far, for one thing. I mean, this isn't a real graphically intensive game, but this game came out four years before. Let's see. Yeah. No, it was 2001, so five or six years before The Legend of Dragoon did, and it still uses sprites. And I love the sprite design and stuff, and I kind of like ease of it and I like the amount of detail it has to things it already feels like a very storied world and once again the music's great the music is very good loops very long already and it's already just the beginning but anyway 
if you liked what you saw, if you like me beginning another fantasy-based RPG for the first time, hit the like button. And as always, click the nut on the way out. <laughs>